two year old boy presents to your pediatric clinic without having been seen by the pediatrician since six months of age. His parents are concerned about his propensity for biting himself and strange uh, threatening body movements. On physical examination, the patient is quite spastic in his movements, we can say, with marked hyperreflexia in all the limbs. This is very, very important buzzword or uh, clue word for our case. His fingers are notably disfigured from his constant self-biting. When questioned further, the mother admits that the child produces reddish-orange urine in his diapers, but states that this has been a constant phenomena since birth. You ask the nurse to collect urine from the child, suspecting marked hyperuricemia and uric acid crystals on analysis. You start the child on allopurinol and suggest that the parents see a dentist about removing the child's newly forming front teeth. So this is a very easy case and one of the common case for MLA exam and this, it is a, a Lesch-Nyhan syndrome. So Lesch-Nyhan syndrome is an X-linked recessive mainly caused due to the deficiency of HGPRT. So this HGPRT is an enzyme involved in the salvage purine synthesis pathway. So we know that which catalyzes the reaction that combines PRPP with either hypoxanthine or guanine to form IMP or GMP respectively. When HGPRT is the one which is deficient, hypoxanthine and guanine are degraded to form uric acid instead of IMP and GMP. So this is very, very important. So IMP as well as GMP levels are decreased and PRPP levels are increased. This is what you need to know for this flesh man syndrome. IMP and GMP levels are decreased and PRPP levels are increased, leading to the stimulation of the de novo purine synthesis pathway. So whenever there will be excessive levels of purines, remember that that can lead to CNS damage and the neurological problems. So excessive levels of the purines leads to CNS damage and the neurological problems is a very important manifestation of the Les Nyhan syndrome. So the lab finding is evident with the hyperuricemia and also obviously there will be uric acid crystals in the urine and uh, majority of the patients exhibit with the self mutilative behavior aggression so remember that 100% of the patients present with uh, self mutilative behavior and other manifestations which are approximately seen in 50 to 60% of the cases for example aggression spasticity choreoathetosis is also seen in greater than 70% of the individuals, we can say. So, choreoathetosis, which is nothing but called an involuntary threatening movements, and kidney stones because of uh, hyperuricemia, and arthritis because of the same, gout as well as mental retardation. Mental retardation is mainly because of the CNS manifestation, and the gout is again because of the hyperuricemia, right? So, this is what is about the clinical manifestation in the Les Nyhan syndrome. If I repeat once again, like self mutilative behavior is approximately seen in 100% of the patients, and uh, aggression, spasticity are also seen, but not uh, more than 60 to 70%, we can say, and uh, choreoathetosis, that is involuntary threatening movements, can be seen also greater than 70% of the cases. Kidney stones, arthritis, hyperreflexia, gout, mental retardation. 
and orange or red tinge to the urine. All these are very important clinical manifestations of the less my hand syndrome. What is the treatment? Allopurinol is considered to be the treatment of choice because allopurinol is the xanthine oxidase inhibitor. And this allopurinol can prevent problems which are related to the hyperuricemia but remember but has no effect on behavior or neurological manifestations which are seen in the less nyhan syndrome so now what exactly is the primary gout so primary gout is caused by any inherited errors of metabolism we can say that result in increased levels in the uric acid and although many of these mutations are not uh, characterized and some cases of the primary gout are mainly caused by the partial deficiency of uh, HGPRT and the symptoms of gout mainly include uh, acute arthritis. Acute arthritis is typically seen in the big toe as well as obstructive nephropathy is mainly because of uh, the kidney stones and the gout is mainly treated with the allopurinol as well as NSAIDs for the acute relief. NSAIDs typically for the acute relief, but uh, allopurinol is the one we can say for the prevention we can say. So this is what is about uh, the Lesh-Nyhan syndrome.